Okay, hello everyone. Okay, I am inside my Google Sheet. Oh, you can see that I'm actually inside the Google Sheet at this current moment. And what we I want to do is I actually want to do a countdown. Okay. Okay, I want to do a countdown. All right particularly by date okay this is actually what i would like to achieve okay and by doing this i'm gonna use a few things to help me okay so first of all i would like to introduce this little button over here on the toolbar here which is actually the functions. It has the same symbol that most of us see actually inside the Excel spreadsheet. Okay. And of course you have all your standard function, but we would like to look into the date. Okay. One of the date function that we will see is the now N O W, right? Which actually return the current date and time as a date value of course because it's a date i'm going to just choose this okay so i have the now right and the about so you have the equal now and so forth i'm just going to hit enter okay so the formula right actually is equal now function but the data it returns is my date and time. All right, just to show actually uh, 12 July 2021. Okay, so now it's about 9 p.m. So 21, yes, it's correct. Okay, All right. of course, uh, you may have a slightly different format uh, depending on where you are. Okay, so because uh, the date can be either a day day month month or a month month day day depending uh, whether you are using the US date or not. Okay, but it's here. All right. Now I can format this because it still work very much like a number. Right. Okay, so I can still format this based by date and time or both right now of course it is uh, both okay but i just want the dates so i'm just going to choose the date and the time portion actually will be removed okay but now it is not yet accounted this is just showing the date so every day when i actually open up this spreadsheet itself okay all right this will change because you will always take the current date so how do i work on the counter is let's say if i have a due date and assuming my due date is 30th july 2021 date can actually be uh, manipulated by operators okay by operator uh, so they actually work very much like a number uh, so if i see the date and i can work them by numbers or uh, as a number i can actually put them into formulas so i can actually take my due date subtract my current date which is the now and approximately about 17 days all right slightly a bit more okay approximately about 17 days okay but of course you have all the uh, decimal at the back right? because the calculation is quite accurate you can remove the decimal i'm sure all right you can decrease the decimal value right, if you want to 
okay so that's not a problem so i have 17 days so basically as every day when i actually open this spreadsheet of course i need to save it okay this date will change when this date actually change which is the current date actually get closer and closer to the 30th this is my remaining date all right so this is my oh sorry okay this is my remaining days left okay so it worked very much like a counter where it actually count down to a particular due date uh, i don't actually need to show this okay i can just basically place it inside this formula itself right so instead of having a two column i can just replace the e3 right, which is the now with now by right, the now fun function itself okay so what we have here is a very simple countdown uh, how you would like to use it i'll leave it to you to be creative about it okay but just a quick idea right the now function will always attract your system or right, your system date and time okay and dates actually can be calculated or right, using all your addition subtraction and so forth all right uh so far i haven't used multiplication and division on date but add and subtract this is quite common 